What's going on YouTube? This is Ribo at the Bench and today I just have a quick side-by-side -side video looking at Machine Era pins. So this is the Machine Era Classic. This is the Machine Era Markup. Um, I have done a review of the, what is this? What did I just say? The Markup. Uh, I have a review coming of the Classic. Uh, but while I have both of these on the bench, I thought I would do a quick side-by-side. -side. And I will say this. I said this in my review of the markup before, but I am not a pin guy, although I did just order a tactile turn bolt in titanium, which I'm super pumped about. So maybe I am becoming a pin guy, uh, but I have always just been a Pilot G2 fan. And so for me, a must have with any pin is that it can take a Pilot G2 refill. Um, so I, I really don't know many things about pins, uh, but what I do know is just if I like something or not and kind of my experience carrying it. So. I couldn't really think of categories for a head-to-head, -head, especially because these are basically the same pen. This is the same case, um, same body, same size, weight, materials, everything, um, just with a few differences. And so I thought I would just do a quick side-by-side, kind of show, um, you know, my experience with it, what the differences are, and kind of what I like and don't like. All right, so uh, both of these are roughly the same price. I think maybe there's like a $3 difference. I want to say 42 45 maybe. Um, they kind of go in and out of availability. Sometimes you can find them on Amazon. Sometimes you cannot. Uh, this one I ordered directly from Machine Era. Maybe I ordered both of them directly from Machine Era, but I, kn I know I definitely ordered this one uh, because they recently became available again, and I think they are sold out in brass again. Stainless steel is still available. Um, the markup, I think everything is still available. Uh, but uh, it's kind of hit or miss. I think they just do multiple runs, and so you have to kind of catch them at the right time. Um, but uh, I, years ago, saw this pin, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, it it kind of had what the Fisher Space pin has, but just in a nicer, you know, body. Uh, I loved this, like, textured ribbing here that you have. I just, I really liked the compact design, and, and you know, I really like brass. Um, the stainless steel just doesn't really do it for me. It looks too flashy. The DLC, I just have my doubts. Um, but the brass is really nice. Granted, it does pick up patina, so you have to kind of like that. But I don't mind that at all. I like the heft. Um, so I wanted this one, but I couldn't bring myself to spend all that money when I really needed a clip. And I use a Pilot G2, like I said, and I kind of clip it in between the buttons on my shirt. And so a clip was very, very essential for me. And so when they finally released a pin, uh, much like the classic, but with the uh, clip here, I jumped at the chance. So I grabbed this one, I carried it for a while, did the review, really like it. Um, and, uh, you know, then I kind of found myself realizing that, um, this clip just was not that great, at least for the way I use the pin. I mentioned in my review, but this is a very flimsy clip. It's very small. You don't have a ton of material between the pin and the clip. Um, and you have this kind of weird thing where it's like a brass pin with the stainless steel clip. It just doesn't really look like it belongs together. Um, not saying that they should have done or could have done a brass clip, uh, but this whole thing just doesn't totally work visually for me. So what I did was I just popped this clip off. Let me see if I can do this on camera real quick. Uh, I don't want to mess anything up if I can't. Yeah, I, I can usually get it off. There we go. Um, so you can just pop the clip, clip off like that. And what you have under here is this little recessed bit with this cool texturing. Um, and so what I did was I just started carrying the pin in my pocket in a little slip, just like this. Um, I had a little slip I put down in there and I would just grab up here. I found that if you put it in the slip uh, tip down, um, what happens is you can start to unscrew that tip accidentally. Um, so I just carried it like this for a while, um, but it, it drove me absolutely insane uh, that there was this little recessed bit uh, with nothing on it. Uh, so when the markup, I'm sorry, when the uh, classic came available, I just went ahead and snagged one. And I thought, you know, this was the original pin that I fell in love with. And so let me kind of see if I, um, you know, like this a lot better. Let me see if, if it kind of checks the boxes for me. Um, so I picked this one up. And I have to say, I've been very, very happy. Uh, my original kind of requirement that it had a clip, um, I've kind of gone away from carrying a pin like that. I've started just carrying it in my pockets and kind of just embracing the um, having, you know, to reach down and, and grab it out of my pocket. Still a pain in some ways. It's not super easily accessible. 
Um, but I will say I really, really like the classic here. Um, there's something about that texture, and I can't, you know, decide. There, there's a little bit of just practicality to it that it gives you a little bit more to grab onto. I tend to hold um, the pen. I'm trying to think either right here if I'm writing something real detailed. Sometimes I'll do it out here if I'm sketching or something like that. Um, but there's just something about that that I like. It just gives it that added texture. I think both of these have a very nice weight to them. Um, but there's something about that texturing that I really like. Now you can see uh, this... Um, what do you call this? This is the markup. Uh, since I took the clip off, it has a tendency to roll. Um, that's the same thing that this pen does. And that is one huge advantage to having a clip on the pen. Um, that is one thing that's been an annoyance with the Classic. Uh, if you put the clip on the markup here, which I will try to do without scratching it all up, just pops into place like, well, not like that. Let's see if I can do this on camera. There we go. Um, if you put the uh, if you put the clip on there, it just can't really roll. Um, and so I have found myself at the office in situations where I have to kind of trap this under something to prevent it from rolling away. And that has become an annoyance. Uh, I do think that this one rolls a little bit easier without the clip just because you don't have any of that texturing or anything. Um, but both of these absolutely are subject to roll and they're not lightweight pins. And so when they roll and hit something or fall off the table, you definitely hear it. Uh, however, I think all in all, like both of these are really good pens. They, they both uh, serve their purpose very well. They add a good bit of weight and heft to a pen, which I really like when writing. There's something about lightweight pens. It's like it's easy to carry and whatnot. Um, but uh, adding, some, adding some weight behind that to me helps the ink roll a little bit smoother. It helps me at least. It just feels better when I write. Uh, so I really, really like that. I think both of these do that very, very well. Um, at the end of the day, the Classic is absolutely the pin for me. Um, this one is going to be sold fairly soon uh, to make way for the uh, what is it, tactile turn bolt that I have coming in. But this has become my everyday carry pin. Um, I really, really like it. I do wish uh, that it had a nicer clip or I wish that you know it uh, had something to prevent it from, from rolling away. Excuse me. Um, but at the end of the day, like both of these are really good pens. I think they straddle that line between being compact enough to carry, um, to fit in your pocket while also giving you a full size, really comfortable pen to use, um, when, uh, when they're completely open like this. Um, I think, I think these are good pens. I, I don't think they're without their disadvantages for sure. They're not a quick access pen. For example, you have to sit there and unscrew this. Um, but I've gotten lots of comments from people before when, when they say, hey, does anybody have a pen? And I say, oh, here you go. They say, whoa, this is a super, super nice pen. Um, and in reality, like, yeah, like $40 pen is, is a really nice pen. But in the pen world, that's really not all that much. Uh, for the use that I've gotten out of these, it's totally worth it for me. I think this is the one most sure that's gonna that's gonna stay in the collection, um, but I think that uh, I think that this one would be the right for you know the right uh, choice for the right person. I would say maybe um, stick with the stainless steel since you're getting that stainless steel clip. Maybe just for aesthetic purposes, like this just still doesn't really do it for me. Um, and I guess the one other thing I'll mention is you probably see a color difference between these two. I'm going to attribute that attribute that to the fact that this one is an older pen. I've had this for longer. This one's fairly new. Um, so I think this one's just developed a little bit more uh, patina and it's turned kind of a rosy gold color um, where this, this one is still a little bit, um, I don't know, more lighter brass looking. I don't know. I don't know what color you call that. Um, but anyway, I, I don't know if this has been helpful. This is kind of just me rambling about these two pens. Uh, I think they're both really well, uh, both really good. I, I like what Machine Air is doing here. I wish that they would keep the Classic in stock. I, I think pretty much nine out of ten times I would go with the Classic over the the uh, the markup here. Uh, although I I think the markup is a is a totally solid pen. So not sure if that helps you or not, uh, but I will see you next time.